What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel and the day has finally arrived. I have got my, my Scream Factory Child's Play 4K Zim and I got all the additional slip covers and posters and the whole thing. So we're going to get into this big package right here. We're going to do uh, the full showcase and unboxing. So of course, this isn't going to be any reviews of the actual 4Ks. I will do that um, in, in the days that follow. I'm hoping to have reviews out for all of these movies at some point. But this is just going to be a showcase video where I show you all the stuff in this package. Now, I didn't get all the pins and all that extra swag and stuff. I just got the additional slipcovers because I got them uh, with the first three movies that came out last year, which I will say, and I'm opening the box right now, guys. That's what I'm doing. I will say, I, I'm i not as excited to get these movies as I was last year to get the first three because I love the first three Child's Play movies. Those are some of my favorite horror movies of all time. Um, and I love the character of Chucky, so like I like these movies. They're fun for what they are, but I'd be lying if I said I'm just super excited to dive back into the, the Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky era. Um, I'm, I'm a little um, kind of excited to watch uh, Curse again, because I haven't seen Curse in a while. I actually watched Bride and Seed just last year, so... All right, all right. I like the, I like the packaging right here. Let me give you all the overall look of this. Well, first off, we have this beautiful... Shout Studios uh, paper right there that says 20th anniversary or 20 years of Shout Studios because they changed it from Shout Factory to Shout Studios, but Screen Factory is still Screen Factory. It's very confusing. Screen Factory doesn't know what they want to do sometimes, guys. All right, but uh, all right, let me let me show you this. This is what it looks like when I open it up. You guys can see the 4Ks right there. It's a nice, neatly packaged inside. Let's see what we got here. All right, now I'm going to take these to the table. We're going to do full unboxings, but we have. Bride of Chucky on 4K. Heck yeah. We got everybody's favorite Seed of Chucky on 4K. Hell yeah. I'm excited for that. Um, I actually do kind of like Seed of Chucky. though. I watched, like I said, I watched it last year and I'm like, I, I avoided it for so long because I heard so many bad things about it. And it's not good. It's not a great horror movie by any means. But if you watch it as like a stupid, funny, like almost um, parody like a scary movie or something, um, you can have some fun and enjoyment with it. Again, it's not a horror film. There's some blood and gore in there, but um, and and Glenn is is what it is. He, I, he's kind of become not an icon like Chucky, but um, he's up there. He he's getting there. Glenn Glenn's getting close to icon status, I think. And now he's got that spirit Halloween uh, doll that everybody's unboxing. All right, uh, curse. Of Chucky. This is the one I'm interested in rewatching. I've not seen this one in a while, but this I actually thought this one was pretty good when I watched it back in the day. And then we got uh, we got Cult of Chucky on 4K, which I did not like this movie at all when I watched it. So I'm interested in how I'm gonna feel about this one now. Um, but I know that this one, I, I've seen the first season of the television show, and I feel like I might like this one more because I like the first season and it kind of ties into this and what happens at the end of this uh, movie. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to re-watching Cult of Chucky um, as well. So yeah, that's what we got. Look, it, they're, not the, they're not the most flashy Child's Play movies. They're definitely not. Brad of Chucky is definitely probably the fan favorite of this batch um, for sure. But I do think that Curse is, is pretty good. Again, I'm excited to rewatch that one. But I'm going to unbox all these here in a second. I did go ahead and get the slipcover poster package with all the additional slipcovers. And I bet you're asking yourself, Ken, what are you going to do with extra slipcovers? All these already have slipcovers. And now you got two slipcovers. Um, and you didn't order two movies. So what are you going to do with them? I don't know. I just had the additional slipcovers for the first three. Or I think just two and three had them. The first one didn't have them. Um, so I felt like I had to get them for these as well. And the artwork on them is really cool. And, you know, sometimes what I do is I'll leave, like, the original poster artwork on them for a while, and then I'll just randomly switch them, you know, one day. So it's like I go back and forth. I try to, like, utilize them. Um, <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but I don't know. I just, I just wanted them. They're cool to have. And you know what? Someday they may be worth something. You never know. Somebody may be looking for a Bride of Chucky... Seed of Chucky slipcover. Not that I'm like looking to sell them, but 
I don't know. They're just cool to have. What do you want me to say? Uh, but anyway, I, it's kind of interesting how they had these in here because they're out of order. But I had the, this is the Bride of Chucky slipcover right here. Extra slipcover. And uh, I might, uh, you know, put these back on and show them in better detail when I do the unboxing. But there's the front. There's the back. That's pretty cool. I like the artwork on that one. Um, and then we got the Seed of Chucky. I do like how this one has the um, the uh, John Waters on it with his face like half burnt off. I think that's pretty damn cool. Yeah, the artwork on, on this one's pretty damn cool. You got Glenda on there. Glenn Glenda. Freaking cool. I like the artwork on Seed of Chucky. And uh, then we got Curse of Chucky right here. The artwork on that. Yeah, I dig all this artwork, guys. I do. I mean, let me fold this out. Taking you all through the whole process. That's what I like to do here. Cool stuff. Did I show you the back? Did I show you the back on Seed? There you go. I don't think Tiffany's as good in Seed of Chucky. That's probably the biggest sin that it commits. I like Tiffany a lot. The character of Tiffany a lot in Bride of Chucky. She's the best part about that movie, to be honest. And they kind of give her the short end of the stick in Seed. And then we got Cult of Chucky. I like the the orange, even though I don't remember this movie like having an orange aesthetic to it, so that just doesn't feel like it fits the, the look and the feel of the film, but you got all the different Chuckies on this one because there was multiple Chuckies in this film. And uh, you got the Chucky on the back, so cool artwork on all these. I like the artwork on them all. And then we got uh, some Prism stickers, I think. This is like a new thing that Shout Factor is doing. I don't feel like they've always done Prism stickers, but... They don't make you pay extra for them. They include them in the uh, poster slipcover package. So I guess that's a good thing. And like I said, I didn't get the pins and all that other extra stuff. This is pretty cool. I like this. It's it's just the Bride of Chucky sticker. But I like that sticker. It's definitely a cool sticker. All right. So lastly, we got posters. And I got eight posters in this. So you get posters for uh, the original posters and the newly commissioned artwork on all four movies. So eight posters in all. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get them out. Should I get them out? Maybe I'll get a couple out and show them off. Uh, I don't I don't see myself hanging these anytime soon. I still got a lot of my Screen Factory posters. If uh, you all can see some of them back there, uh, back there behind me. But you know, they, they come with them. You can't ask for no posters and get a little bit off. So you might as well have them, right? If you order from Screen Factory, pre-order, you're going to get a poster on most of the stuff. So there you go. Nice uh, Curse of Chucky. Like I said, they got these out of order. This is Curse of Chucky. That's on front. Um, but you know, they're nice. They're nice for what they are. They're not like great high quality. They're about the same kind of posters you get at Walmart or something. Which there's nothing wrong with that. But there you go. That's the posters. Let's go to the unboxing table, and then we'll get into the, the nitty-gritty of these 4Ks. Let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. We will start with Bride of Chucky right here. Of course, we have that original poster art on the cover. Iconic poster art, I would say, at this point. You got Chucky with the blue eyes, Tiffany with the green eyes. You got your spine right here. This is a two-disc set. And we'll zoom in on the synopsis right there. You got Jennifer Tilly, who looked pretty pretty darn good in this movie, I will say. Uh, you got Disc One 4K UHD, new 2023 4K Master, audio commentary with director Ronnie Yu. I'm pretty sure that it's an older archival commentary. You got a commentary with actors Jennifer Tilly, Brad Dorf. I'm sure that's a fun one. And with Don Mancini, the creator. Um, then you got uh, the Blu-ray with the uh, 4K scan audio commentaries, and uh, let's see, Bride of Chucky Spotlight on Location and Theatrical Trailer. So, kind of disappointing they didn't add in a lot of special features. Maybe there are more, because sometimes with Screen Factory, they just won't put special features on the back. Like, you, you'll have to check them out when you put the disc in. Well, let's see, disc, you got the specs and all that stuff down there. So, yeah, I'm excited to dive in this one. This is a pretty... Aesthetically, this is a really good looking movie that has the potential to look really good on 4K. So we'll go ahead and take the plastic off here. 
And yeah, I, I, I've gone on record before as saying I don't love the Bride of Chucky era of Child's Play. Um, I prefer my Chucky scary. If I can have my Chucky, I prefer him scary. But I will also take him comedic. And they definitely went a more comedic turn with this movie, and especially when they got to, you know, Bride of Chucky and, and Seed of Chucky, I mean. But, you know, I can appreciate it for what it is now. Uh, when I go back and watch, I do have nostalgia for this movie. And, I mean, it is 25 years old now. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. And this does have Dolby Vision HDR, so uh, 5.1 DTS Master Audio. Open it up, and you got to, ooh, that is some nice disc art. I dig the disc art. You got the blue and greenish blue aesthetic right there. Some good stuff. And that's pretty much it. And then I will go ahead and slide on this Bride of Chucky slipcover. Well, first, let me check for reversible cover art. I doubt that there will be, but you never know. No, no reversible cover art. You never know a Screen Factory. Sometimes just out of nowhere, they will have reversible cover art. All right, so we will put the Bride of Chucky alternate artwork on and then set that to the side and go ahead and bring over seed of Chucky, which actually came out, I think seven years after Bride of Chucky. It took a while to have the continuation of this franchise. And I really like this poster a lot too. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, they may, should have maybe took red man off the, um, off the casting list right there. I guess red man was really popping in 2005. I don't remember that, but I guess maybe he was, uh, this is a two disc set and they just had to right there. Look, I, I, I don't really care all that much about a little corner damage, but it doesn't look great. And I mean, when you order directly from screen factory, you do expect it to be pristine. I mean, I didn't get this off Amazon. I feel like I could get it off of Amazon and it would look better than what screen factory sends it to me sometimes looking like, but on the back, Chucky's bloodiest, the most twisted adventure yet. Is that actually true? Do you think there's more blood? It could that could be possible. There's some couple. Uh, there's a couple of really gory, bloody scenes in this movie for sure. Could be possible. And of course, I mean, this is Don Mancini's favorite Chucky movie. So of course, there's the most special features on this release. I feel like. Um, so yeah, this is a new 2023 scan of the original camera negative, 4K UHD. And you get a, a 4K scan on the Blu-ray, audio commentary, writer-director Don Mancini. See, I don't know if the audio commentary is going to be on the 4K or if it's just on the Blu-ray or why. Because on the first, on Brown and Chucky, they, it was on the 4K. So I don't know why it's different. Um, so yeah, audio commentary. You get two audio commentaries slash scene featuring audio commentary with Don Mancini, actress Debbie Lee Carrington. Here's Chucky, interview with Chucky, family hill day, slideshow, conceiving the Chucky uh, the Seed of Chucky, Tilly on the Tonight Show, fusing up close with the Seed of Chucky star, storyboard to feature. So yeah, good amount of special features on this one right here. And then we'll look at the all the specs down there at the bottom. So some cool stuff. Take it out of the case. Go ahead and rip that plastic off. Give it a little rip and tear. All right. Um... Throw the plastic off to the side. Bam. Another spine shot. Another back shot. Go ahead and open this sucker up. You got some more cool... Ooh, I like the red. I like the red aesthetic on that one. And you do get the theatrical and unrated cuts on the Blu-ray. But on the 4K, in traditional Screen Factory fashion, you only get the theatrical cut in, in 4K. Um, so it's a difference of a minute. Like, I'm sure it's not like that drastic of a difference i'm sure there's just a couple more gore sequences in the unrated but and we'll check for versatile cover art there is none and we'll go ahead and put this new slip cover on here i'll probably keep the new slip covers on them for a while maybe take a couple shots with my older slip covers post them on instagram but uh definitely some really cool artwork i like it i like how glenn glenn does front and center and then you got glenn down there at the bottom uh, pretty cool. It's a it's a funny character. Like it doesn't. Uh, if they would have slapped Glenn and Glenda in the first three Child's Play movies, I would have a problem with it. But in the Bride of Chucky universe, it works. So, all right. Yeah, they're pretty bloody right there. This might be the bloodiest Chucky of them all. All right, we'll go ahead and bring over Curse. Nice little cover right there. You got um, 
um, geez, uh, what is her name? Fiona Dorf. So that's Brad Dorf's daughter starred in this movie, which I don't think I knew at the time I watched this. I think I learned that a little bit later. But she's definitely really good in these movies. So I, I kind of like this film. And it's a departure from the Seed of Chucky era. They kind of take it back to its more horror roots, which I did enjoy. There's a synopsis. you got special features. Uh, new 2023 4K Mask are the unrated cuts. Audio commentary, writer-director, animatronic design, Tony Gardner, actress Fiona Dorf. Uh, new 2023 4K Master on the Blu-ray. And you get the rated and unrated cuts with this one on the Blu-ray. So I didn't even know it had an unrated cut. And it looks like you get the unrated cut on the 4K of this one. Um, but you get audio commentaries, playing with dolls, the making of the curse of Chucky, living doll, bringing Chucky to life, voodoo doll, the Chucky legacy. So you get some good special features on this one, it looks like as well, uh, which is cool. And there's all the specs down there at the bottom. These all have Dolby Vision, HDR. This one came out in 2013. Damn, I remember watching this when it first came out. I did. I do not feel like it's been that long since Curse of Chucky's come out. That's a full 10 years for Curse of Chucky. Yeah, a lot of these are celebrating uh, anniversaries. You know, a Bride of Chucky is 25. This is 10. So definitely a good time to, to bring these movies out on 4K. Good call by Screen Factory, you know. And I say it was smart for them to jump on this right away. You got the TV show going strong right now. And you just released one, two, and three. So everybody's in a Chucky mood right now. So it's definitely smart of them to go ahead and bring this out. Bring these movies out on 4K. Like the disc art. Just like the different colors on the disc art. I think that's pretty cool. I'll have to check the colors of the, the ones that came out last year. But the orangey yellow aesthetic works pretty good. Cool images on that. I didn't love the look of Chucky in these movies, but the tone of these movies, or this movie in particular, is, is pretty good and pretty in line with the Child's Play movies. I just didn't love the look of him. All right, so let's go ahead and put the Curse of Chucky slip cover on here. Bing, bang, boom. I'm looking forward to rewatching this one. I, I'd say of all of these, since I watched Brad and Seed last year, I, I don't think I've seen Curse in maybe six or seven years. So I am really looking forward to, to rewatching this one. And like I said, I feel like it's going to look pretty good in 4K. All right, we'll set that over there and get into the last one, Cult of Chucky. Like the cover on this one as well. Got the spine. A little bit of, little bit of damage up there in the corner. Not as bad as Seed, but some good damage. At least with my alternate slipcover artwork ones, I, I don't have damage. And then you got uh, Synopsis. This one was just really wacky. <laughs> Really wacky. And I know that this was what uh, Don Mancini wanted to do with the third one. Uh, thank God they didn't let him do it then because I love the third one the way it is. Um, but he just went crazy in this one with multiple Chuckies and all that. Uh, new uh, 4K master on the 4K, audio commentary, writer-director Don Mancini. Uh, disc 2, you get the 4K scan on the Blu-ray, audio commentary, Inside the Insanity of Cult of Chucky. Good guy gone bad, the incarnations of Chucky. See, I don't know if all these special features were on like previous Blu-ray edition. I'll have to check my Blu-ray because I think I do have this movie on Blu-ray. But down there you got the casting list, all the specs at the bottom. And I don't know if this has we'll see when we open it up. Let's uh let's get into it. I don't know if this has multiple cuts or not. Um but this uh this poster's pretty damn cool. I will say that. And I know it's not in this universe, but I would like them to do a 4K. I don't know if Screen Factory would be the ones to do it, or it'd be. I think Universal has it. I would like to see a 4K of the Chucky Child's Play remake, for sure. I actually like that movie. All right, we'll open this up, and it uh, looks like you do get a rated and unrated cut difference of a minute. So I'm sure the difference isn't that drastic, but I like the the red aesthetic on this. And I'm also kind of looking forward to rewatching this one because I haven't seen it, I think, since 2017 when it came out. So it's been quite some time since I've seen Cult of Chucky. But there y'all have it. Let me put this slipcover on here for Cult of Chucky. And that is the unboxing of the Child's Play, or not Child's Play, but Chucky, because none of these are called Child's Play. The Chucky 4Ks from Screen Factory unboxing Chucky 4 through 7, Proud of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, Curse of Chucky. All kinds of Chuckies, guys. This is a Chucky extravaganza. Let me lay all these out for you so you can get the full the full scope of what we're working with here. Chuckies everywhere. 
Look at that. Oh my goodness. We've got a Chucky extravaganza. And I couldn't be happier. I love Chucky, guys. Better for better or for worse. I know he's got some some not so good ones. He's got his bangers. He's got his not so bangers. But they're all fun. And I like Chucky. So sue me. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll link these down below, the Amazon links and also the Screen Factory links if you guys want to pick these up. And I'll see y'all later.